So, good morning. I just woke up. It is 10 a.m. I definitely slept in. Um, but I was up till 3 in the morning last night editing video and reviewing some dash cam footage. I'm not reviewing the PubGo P3 just yet. I want some more time with it. Uh, but so far, I get some great quality footage and I, I am having a great time uh, just reviewing that. It's fun to look through, uh, especially if something interesting happened. Um, and now the crazy things that I see on the road, I could share with you guys. So I'm very excited to have the P3. Um, I will have a review coming out later, but for this video, I'm gonna be showing you a day in my life because I don't know, you guys think it's that interesting. Um, I do have some things planned, but uh, I'm gonna stop yammering on and I'm gonna get to this. So first of all, I need to brush my teeth and get a shower and you know, be an adult because I'm kind of gross right now. And next I need to uh, pick out my clothes, you know, cause running around naked, it isn't really cool. I mean, some people might think it's cool, but you could kind of get in trouble for that. So I should pick out some clothes. All right guys, so I need to pick out a shirt, uh, but I can't decide what I want to wear today. So on the right hand side, I have my Subaru shirt. And on the left, I have a roller shot of Miley uh, from Evan and TJ's company, ENT Apparel. So now it's time for me to get showered. Get out of here, you sickos. So I just got to the gun shop, which is the first place I'm going today. Um, it's ATP gun shop and range. Uh, so they actually have a little gun shop and a range as well. Um, I'm not really endorsing them. Uh, a lot of people don't like them. Some people do. Uh, I'm just here to shoot my, uh, shoot my gun. I actually have a Smith and Wesson, uh, M and P shield, uh, chambered in 40. Um, so I'm going to break that in, uh, cause it's still fairly new. Shoot some rounds, uh, relax a little bit, enjoy it. Um, it's overcast today, it's kind of crappy, but it's 73 degrees and it's not raining yet. So uh, hopefully that holds out um, and I can show you some other stuff. But first, I'm gonna enjoy my lunch right here, which I know it's not great, it's uh, junk food. But uh, I just had to get something quick to eat um, because trying to shoot a gun on an empty stomach is not good. Uh, you get really jittery and uh, you can't hit anything. So. I'm gonna enjoy my lunch and then I'm gonna head inside. Um, hopefully I'll be able to film some stuff. I'm not sure uh, what their policy is. I may not be able to, but uh, if I can, I definitely will. So the gun range was pretty much a complete bust. Uh, it was completely full and the wait time was about an hour, which uh, I don't have time to wait an hour. Um, I tried to get some footage of the gun shop. Uh, it is a cool gun shop. They have a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, they didn't have anything that I was looking for. Um, I was hoping to uh, pick up a few things while I was there. Um, you know, hearing protection, um, the noise canceling, uh, earmuffs, I would like a pair of those. Um, they didn't have any that I wanted to buy or that I was really interested in. Uh, also, I was hoping to get a spare magazine for my gun. And again, that was like 40 bucks. So I'm not gonna go through the hassle of buying that here. I'll just pick one up at home. I was also hoping to uh, pick up a lower receiver for an AR-15. And again, um, they do carry them, but it wasn't the, uh, the, the ones that I was interested in. Um, I'm trying to do a budget build and uh, there are some really good deals out there. So um, 
I just uh, decided to wait on that and a few other parts. Um, so I was really looking forward to shooting today. Uh, I was hoping I could get some, uh, you know, get some range time in with my new gun. Uh, but it didn't happen, so there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Uh, you just kind of got to roll with the punches. So my day in a life is not over yet because it just got started. Um, but I'm probably going to cruise around and show you some cool places I like to hang out. And uh, I was actually inspired kind of uh, by Eli Eli's video uh, from Ignition Tube. Um, a few months back, he put out a video uh, talking about, you know, a cool spot that he liked to hang out and just chill and relax. Um, so since I moved back to Pittsburgh, I really haven't found any spots like that yet uh, that really just kind of speak to me and, you know, are nice and quiet. Uh, but there are some in Charleston, so I figured I'd show you some nice spots I like to hang out at. So right now I am on Daniel Island, uh, South Carolina. Um, unfortunately, it is raining uh, pretty hard, uh, so I'll try to show you some stuff. Uh, and my camera is actually uh, weather resistant, so I can film a little bit, but uh, I don't want it to get soaked. Uh, so I'll show you what I can, but unfortunately it is raining. Uh, this whole day in life is turning into a huge fail. Um, I went to the gun shop, they didn't have what I want, and I couldn't get a lane at the range. Um, and now I thought I would be cool to uh, show you guys around Daniel Island, um, which I can do a little bit of, but again, it's raining. And furthermore, there's like a huge football game or something going on, and uh, there's a ton of traffic everywhere. So even finding parking was pretty difficult. Um, but I still wanted to definitely show you guys Daniel Island because I think it is one of the coolest places in uh, South Carolina. Uh, Charleston is, I feel, overlooked. Um, you know, when people think of nice places to visit in the South, uh, a lot of times they'll think of Myrtle Beach or Hilton Head or somewhere like that. And uh, Myrtle Beach is cool, but it's way overcrowded and uh, so are a lot of other places. Uh, so if you're looking for a nice vacation in the South, uh, Charleston is definitely the place to go. And if you're in Charleston, I think you should definitely swing by Daniel Island because it's just amazing. It's beautiful. Um, it is very upscale. Um, I had the opportunity and the privilege of living on Daniel Island for about a year and a half uh, where I was able to get my first apartment. Uh, but most of the homes here are million dollar homes, multi-million dollar homes. In fact, um, one lot, which I forget how large it was, it wasn't very large. Um, it was just the land alone was going for six hundred thousand uh, dollars so that kind of puts it in perspective and it, it wasn't that big it was big enough for a house so you know it was maybe two acres um, was not very big but it was a lot of money uh, that being said Daniel Island is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in South Carolina it's very peaceful and quiet um, and it's nice. Uh, most of the people are courteous. Uh, it's not really a snobby town in my opinion. Um, I mean you have snobs everywhere but I, I enjoyed living here um, and I felt welcome so I really enjoyed it. So if you're in the Charleston area you should definitely check out uh, Daniel Island because it's awesome. So with that being said I'll show you uh, what I can of DI um, but it's somewhere that you have to kind of experience for yourself. I do apologize if it is shaky or anything like that. Um, I'm trying to film uh, using my DSLR while I'm walking. I don't have, you know, a, um, any type of camera equipment that is a stabilizer or anything like that. So it is handheld and I apologize if it is shaky, but uh, this place is really cool and it's definitely somewhere to check out. Um, I love it down here. It's very peaceful. It's nice and relaxing. Uh, perfect place to uh, study or do YouTube videos. Try to set things straight. You don't even listen. I'm just getting late. Like you're on a mission.
guys, so right now I am in Smythe Park, which is on Daniel Island, and uh, it's basically a glorified drainage ditch, um, just for fresh water, uh, there's no sewage or anything like that, um, but South Carolina is so low, um, it's called the low country for a reason, it's because it is literally at sea level, uh, so if they don't dig these big uh, ditches and pits and everything for the water to drain into, uh, otherwise it would just flood. One eternity later. What's up guys? So this whole day in a life thing um, <sighs> did not go according to plan whatsoever. Not even a little bit, not even a little bit by accident. Um, pretty much the only thing that uh, went according to plan was me waking up this morning. Uh, so I really tried to give you guys a day in a life, but uh, a lot of things went wrong today. Um, I'll probably try to make a day in a life uh, some other time. When I'm home in Pittsburgh, not in South Carolina, I'm not on vacation, but uh, basically everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Um, first of all, the weather was crappy, whatever. Um, like I said, it was warm, but uh, it was cloudy and overcast and then it began to rain. Uh, so that limited me from uh, doing a lot of things. I tried to go to the gun shop and buy a few things and that didn't work out. Uh, the gun range was full and I wasn't going to wait an hour for a lane. So that didn't happen. Um, then I thought it would be cool to uh, show you guys around Daniel Island and, uh, you know, where I used to live and um, take you around there and just show you some cool things but uh, that is where things went very very wrong and uh, that actually limited me um, from showing you guys a few other things that I actually had planned um, apparently a guy walking around talking to a camera freaks people out um, somebody I, I've heard multiple people uh, actually called the police on me uh, because they saw me walking around with a camera taking pictures of things what they thought was taking pictures of things um, your average person doesn't realize that a DSLR camera can take video um, but uh, you know I was taking video trying to show you guys around and uh, I guess that freaked some people out so they called the cops so the police came uh, Charleston PD showed up um, asked me a ton of questions, uh, and to make matters worse, um, I was actually carrying concealed. Um, I do have a permit to carry a firearm. Um, I told the police straight off the bat that I do. Um, just for the record, if you ever are carrying and uh, you're stopped by the police, that needs to be like the very first thing that comes out of your mouth, number one. And number two, uh, keep your hands out away from your body. Um, even just saying that you have a weapon, even if you're trying to identify yourself as a, uh, a CCW permit holder, um, that freaks cops out, and that would freak me out too. Um, so that needs to be the first thing out of your mouth, and uh, you know, just be calm, kind, courteous. Um, let them do what they need to do. Uh, to they're probably going to take your weapon and secure it at least until they figure out what's going on. But that took a long long time um, I like I said I am legal to carry um, I wasn't doing anything crazy um, it's just kind of the protocol um, that the police kind of had to investigate what I was doing so the fact that I had a weapon um, even though I wasn't doing anything with it it was completely concealed nobody saw it nobody knew um, that took a lot longer uh, that took probably almost an hour uh, for them to call and verify and get all the information that they needed from me and verify that I was in fact legal and all that stuff. Um, I'm not bashing the police. I'm not a police basher, so I'm going to keep polit politics uh, completely out of this. Um, they were just doing their job. But that just that killed everything pretty much. Um, I tried to explain to them. 
uh, you know, this YouTube thing um, where you walk around and talk to yourself in front of a camera and people are actually somewhat entertained somehow by this. Um, they didn't understand it. Um, I actually got the chance to talk to one of the guys who was uh, calling the police because he uh, called out to me and said, hey, what are you doing? And I'm, to him, I tried to explain the whole YouTube thing, like, hey, uh, I'm doing a day in a life where I walk around and show guys what I'm doing. And uh, he really wasn't buying it either. Um, so yeah, I was with the police for over an hour um, trying to explain that I'm not, a, I'm not a weirdo, I'm not a creeper, I'm not a peeping Tom, um, I'm not a, a cat burglar. Um, <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. It was um, not at all, not even a little bit what I had planned today. Um, so I do apologize for not having more footage. Um, I did get some things filmed of Daniel Island, and it, it is a beautiful place. They wouldn't believe me. Um, they really thought I was weird because it was kind of cloudy and overcast. And they're like, well, uh, that doesn't make sense because it's crappy weather today. And I'm like, uh, I'm from Pittsburgh, and it's like 40 degrees right now. So to me, it was nice weather, you know. They didn't believe me. Um, but everything went well, um, you know, I wasn't arrested, um, I was detained for a while in handcuffs in the black back of a uh, police car, not what I had planned, but um, everything went without incident, I didn't get shot, I wasn't arrested, um, I wasn't discriminated against in any way, so um, everything went as well as it possibly could have gone, um, considering that I guess somebody called the police on me and called me suspicious. Um, and like I said, I could understand where they're coming from. I fully understand that, but, <laughs> you know, they were like, oh, well, that's really not normal to be taking pictures of stuff or taking video of stuff. And I'm like, I didn't say anything. I held my tongue because you really don't want to have an attitude or anything. But I'm sitting there thinking like, you know, doing this whole YouTube thing, just carrying around a camera, talking to yourself, uh, because people like to watch it that really isn't super normal either um so yeah um that was my day um I, I i didn't plan any of that to happen at all um i didn't do nearly as much as i wanted to basically woke up tried to go to a gun shop didn't happen thought oh cool let's go to daniel island got shut down and then I came back here and uh, I had dinner and uh, I took a power nap because I needed it and uh, so now I'm just kind of chilling out um, I'll probably do some video editing and I guess I'll show you guys that and other than that other other than that can't even talk I'm tired long day um, other than that I will just probably be chilling out uh, catching up on some YouTube uh, since I make videos, uh, most of my time is spent editing videos. Editing, rendering, um, sharing to my computer, exporting them, and then uh, uploading to YouTube. So that is something that takes up a lot of time, and I don't get to uh, watch YouTube videos as much as I used to. Uh, so I'll probably uh, check out all my favorite channels. Um, I know I have not watched uh, Subaru WRX fans uh, Friday update from like uh, last week. I didn't get a chance to do that, so I'll do that. Um, I actually am kept caught up on Evan Shanks's videos. Um, I need to catch up on David Patterson's videos. I, I think I have one video uh, TJ Hunt put out that I need to catch up on. Um, B is for Build is an amazing channel. I love those guys. Um, I came across their channel completely by accident. Um, I think TJ Hunt was talking about a rocket bunny kit like a month ago. I'm sorry, not a month ago, a few months ago, uh, probably four months ago or so. And he just mentioned uh, he's not going to do a rocket bunny kit. And I was like, oh, I wonder how that's installed, you know. So I just did a YouTube search for rocket bunny and uh, I came up with this little channel called B is for Build and they had like 2,000 subscribers. And uh, it was about how to install a rocket bunny kit. So I watched like one episode and I was I was hooked. <laughs> um, it, it just fascinated me. Uh, I, I love their channel. 
um, and I've been watching ever since. Um, so if you haven't watched B is for Build, um, if you have a BRZ or an FRS FT86, you should definitely be subscribed to them. And even if you don't, you should probably still be subscribed to them because they are awesome. And uh, their channel is blowing up like none other. Um, I think they had just 2,000 subscribers maybe four months ago or so. And now I think they're up to like 40 or 50,000. <laughs> every every day uh, they have like 10,000 more subscribers. Um, so I watch BS for Build. Um, I watch a lot of car channels. Um, Non-car channels, I don't watch nearly as much. Um, I do watch Swoozy. If you haven't seen Swoozy, uh, Swoozy puts out some awesome stuff. I've been watching him since, I don't even know, years ago. I've probably been a subscriber for like seven, eight years. Uh, great storyteller, uh, funny stuff. So um, I'm just going to post basically all my other channels that I like to watch in the description below. Uh, so you guys can check it out as well. Um, some are going to be car channels, some are not probably going to be car channels. Um, but all my favorite uh, car channels uh, that I really enjoy watching, I always have in my description below. Uh, some are bigger that you know about, um, you know, Subaru WRX fan, Dr. M3, um, TJ Hunt, all those guys, I always have those. Uh, but there are some smaller channels, uh, I think Cali WRX, um, I, I can't even think of who else off the top of my head, and I apologize for that, but some of the smaller channel, channels are down there as well. Um, so make sure you go give those guys um, some love as well and check out their channels, because if it's in the description on my video, then um, it's probably worth watching. So this has been my huge failure of a day in a life video. And uh, I think I'm going to close this out by uh, doing some video editing and uh, showing you guys some of that. So, again, thank you for watching, even though this was a huge, disastrous fail. And uh, if it was physically possible for this to be a flaming crater, it would be. Um, like I said, it couldn't have gone much worse for everything that I had planned. Um, but overall, it ended up okay. And uh, I guess I'm just going to get to some video editing and... Uh, showing you guys what I do. All right guys, so this is my video set up here. Um, I use Final Cut Pro X, uh, which is an awesome program. It was only like $300, uh, which is significantly less than uh, previous versions cost. Um, and it's well worth it in my opinion. I'm very happy with it. Um, the best way I could sum it up is it's basically like iMovie on steroids. Uh, where you can do pretty much anything that you want. Um, iMovie is really geared towards beginners and uh, people who don't have a whole lot of movie knowledge and just want to cut together, you know, little home videos or whatever. Uh, this is professional video software. I'm not saying it's the best, but it's a, it's a hell of a deal for $300 and you'll pretty, pretty much be able to do whatever you want. Um, so this is the video I'm working on right now, uh, which is me yammering on about, uh, some things to prepare for before you go to the, uh, dyno. And, uh, this is a re viewer requested video, um, from a comment on another video of mine. So I figured I'd answer it and make a little, uh, informational video here. Uh, but right now what I'm working on is uh, adding overlays uh, for some of these numbers here. So uh, Check all your fluid levels. Um, all your fluids should be at the proper levels. You do not want to go to the dyno uh, when your car is low on oil. So uh, as you can see, um, I have to add everything else individually on top of the video itself. Uh, so my little HSG uh, watermark down here, I have to overlay that over the entire video. Any other little uh, animations that I want to add, I have to individually add them and stack them, um, you know, individually to the video. Um, this is my timeline down here. And when I start, it's basically completely blank. And you just start building from there. 
So uh, I always start with dropping in my intro, which you are all familiar with, I am sure. Probably even sick of. And uh, just a little bonus for those of you who are actually watching this video and uh, have stuck through this horrible day in a life video. Um, that sound bite is actually Evan Shanks's STI, uh, one of his launch controls where he's just ripping it up. Uh, so if you watch this, then you know that I probably a lot of other people don't. Uh, but if you uh, bared this whole day in a life video, uh, there's your little reward, little uh, secret. Um, so, like I said, everything has to be uh, completely added to my timeline after I edit it. So, basically I start with uh, dropping in my intro and then building there. Um, just cutting and trimming the clips as I see fit. I also have to add uh, sound. Like here I have a pop sound effect uh, for my Instagram whenever that comes in. Which I'm going to put right here. Um, but anyway, uh, I figured this would be the... So uh, that's that. I do enjoy uh, video editing. It's a lot of fun once you uh, get the hang of it. Um, it can be very tedious, um, but I enjoy it. Uh, there's a lot of things that you know, make it a big difference um, that you really wouldn't think would. Uh, for example, the difference of even one or two frames can absolutely um, change the whole flow of your video. Um, so I probably will make a short video at some point uh, discussing some video editing tips and tricks. Again, I'm not the expert on this uh, at all, but uh, I'll give you guys some pointers on that. Uh, one quick pointer is uh, take, a, take out your extra breaths. So let's see if I could show you. And what I mean by that is uh, before you start a line between your clips, uh, you always have to breathe in uh, before you deliver your line or whatever you're going to say. Um, take that out because it just looks really bad. So before heading to a dyno and having your car tuned. Now, I really was hoping to... So you, uh, you see how quick that was? It just jumped from one to the other. And I'm gonna back this up a little bit so you can see how bad um, dead space in between your clips looks. Things that you wanna check before heading to a dyno and having your car tuned. Now, I really was hoping... So as you can see, that makes a huge difference. And uh, I think that's one of the biggest mistakes that people make uh, when editing video is uh, they just leave a lot of dead space in between um, their cuts. Uh, sometimes uh, cutting a video can be tricky um, and getting it to flow right and match up and everything like that. Uh, but that's just a really quick tip. Um, try and take out uh, any dead space that you can and sometimes that really helps uh, sometimes in your mind uh, You'll be thinking that you need some extra space and that will look good uh, But try taking it out and chances are it will look better uh, But that's not always the case another pro tip is uh, Sometimes if you need to uh, adjust your audio for one reason or another um, Detach it from your video file first so that you can have a cut in your audio and you can adjust that without affecting the uh, actual frames and what people are seeing. So here, I believe I had to cut something out um, for one reason or another. I really don't remember what it was exactly, uh, but I detached my audio uh, so that the video flows like it should. A dyno can eat up a lot of fuel. Um... So as you can see, it's almost seamless. Um, somebody might catch it if they're really looking, but it's not nearly as abrupt as, um, you know, leaving your audio attached and uh, trying to adjust everything uh, while it's still attached to the video because you're more likely to notice a video jump uh, than an audio jump. So uh, 
I know I'm giving you guys a lot of tips here that are just kind of random, but uh, one last thing is uh, a video with good audio is much better than a video with poor audio and good video quality. So um, audio is very important. Um, you could suffer through a bad visual or, you know, sketchy uh, video, but uh, if your audio is bad, um, people are going to turn away instantly. So, uh, yeah, I'm basically just editing here a little bit. Um, this video is almost done edited, done being edited. Um, I need to add a few more overlays and then I will let it um, export to my desktop, which will take probably a couple hours. Uh, this is a long video. Uh, as you can see, it's like 40 minutes. Um, so it's, it'll probably take a uh, few hours to export. I'm watching uh, Everybody Loves Raymond, one of my all-time favorite shows. And watching YouTube. I have a ton of YouTube tabs open, like all the time. Here's another sneak peek. Here's my YouTube dashboard. So this is kind of what I see usually. Um, I check this every day usually multiple times a day. Uh, so right now I have 1,259 subscribers. I have all my comments right here, so I can reply to those. I can see uh, how many views each video has and uh, just monitor some things like that. But uh, that's my end of things. And I always, uh, after I check that, I usually go to my subscriptions and see who put out videos. So, uh, <laughs> Here you go. B is for build right here. I need to uh, watch that because they just got a shop, which is a huge deal. If you've watched their videos, uh, they've been working outside under a little tent up till now. Uh, so I'll, I'm excited for these guys. I'm like living vicariously through them. Um, you know, in my little fantasy world where I have a BRZ as a project car. And uh, so the fact that these guys just got a shop, that's just awesome. Uh, so I'll definitely be watching that. Um, Ammo NYC. Uh, Larry Casilla is an incredible detailer. He has a ton of knowledge. Uh, so make sure you check out Ammo NYC. I watch all his stuff. Most of uh, my detailing tips I did get from him. Um, so if you like my detailing videos or my car wash videos, uh, he is definitely a good channel to uh, subscribe to and check out. Uh, some other random stuff. Have uh, just random, random channels. Uh, Tyrone Magnus is kind of cool. I haven't watched too many of his videos lately, uh, but some of his stuff is pretty funny. see ironically how weird is that so Larry just came out with this uh, how to dyno your car so I'll be watching that uh, it's kind of funny because I'm just I'm working more or less on the same type of a video uh, but that's awesome Smurfin Smurfin WRX I've been sub to Mike since man I don't even know I've been watching his videos more or less since he came out like years ago years and years ago before you know people really knew who he was it's kind of like Evan Shanks when he was rolling around in his uh, Scion TC you know and just rambling on about whatever and uh, you know now he's a little bit more established and people know who he is uh, but it's it always feels good to kind of get in on the ground floor uh, when you follow some of these guys um, you definitely feel a little bit special like hey you know, I've been around since day one, or almost day one. Uh, I definitely just watched uh, Evan's video yesterday. Uh, the 10 things he hates about his STI. I actually do have a video in the works, where I should say at least planned to do, um, hopefully soon, depends on the weather. Uh, but I, I have some serious flaws and issues with Aurora. So uh, I'll be making a similar video. Um, let's see. 
I don't see any uh, let's see videos from David Patterson. Oh, here we go. Yeah, uh, this is three days ago. I definitely need to uh, catch up on some of his videos. I've been uh, sub to David since like. I don't know, he had 2,000 subscribers or so, uh, which is just insane because he's about to pass like 400K. Are you serious right now? Look at that, 397,000. Holy crap. That's just nuts. But uh, yeah, I've been to uh, subscribed to David for a couple years. Uh, just saying these little tips that I was giving you on my video and how I edit, um, my editing skills do not hold a candle to, uh, what David Patterson can do. Um, and that's why he has nearly 400,000 subs. Uh, he fully deserves it. Um, his videos are just amazing, have been killer since day one. Uh, so I really appreciate all you guys saying, you know, hell yeah, I love your videos and you know they look awesome and everything but uh there are so many other channels out there that are better than me uh so i'm really kind of flattered uh that you guys think my channel is awesome and i uh i really appreciate you viewing and watching and subscribing and uh just taking your time i mean that's time you could be spending somewhere else uh doing something else other than watching my i don't know somewhat interesting videos um, I don't think they're all that interesting, uh, but they are my videos, so, uh, let's see. Yeah, I have on my channel a little growth chart here where, uh, like I said, I just started this past July. I had 10 subs. Uh, that was from previous, th <laughs> those, 10 those 10 subscribers were pretty much friends already. Um, but, uh. I got some exposure from Evan Shanks and uh, a couple other guys, so they really helped my channel grow. Also, Subaru WRX fan really helped my channel grow. And uh, both of those guys have been basically um, an adrenaline shot in the arm for my channel, and it's just grown rapidly ever since. Um, as you can see, I hit 1,000 subs on October 9th, and right now I am at what did I say? Twelve fifty nine. So uh, that's cool. I haven't been putting out videos um, as much as I would like to because I've been busy with uh, school and everything like that. But uh, when I have time, I could put out videos. Uh, this vacation that I've been on has given me a little bit more time to work on videos, uh, film, edit, and uh, as soon as I get home, I'll be uploading all of these. I would upload something now, but my next video is 40 minutes long, and uh, it would probably kill the Wi-Fi at the uh, at the hotel that I'm staying at. Um, so that's going to have to wait till I get home. But uh, I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, this has been maybe a a miserable day in the life of of Hawkeye STI guy. Uh, it's not super great, but it wasn't a bad day overall. Uh, I'm safe. I'm good to go. You know, kind of, kind of bummed about what happened, but uh, it is what it is. So uh, again, thank you for watching, and uh, I think I'm going to close it out here. So this has been a day in my life. The night lay waste all we give but honestly. You've got to know that this ain't living But we could run, run.